Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closing higher on Thursday, led by shares in banks, retailing and consumer durables and apparel sectors. On the economic docket, a lot going on. Housing starts increasing to 1.32 million units in October. Building permits remaining unchanged in October to 1.23 million. CPI slightly improved in October to 0.4 percent month over month, in line with expectations, while initial jobless claims figures growing by 235,000 in the week ended November 12. Also, continuing claims falling to one. 1.98 million in the week ended November 5th, and the Philly Fed business outlook diminishing to 7.6 in November compared to 9.7 in October. Advancers beating out decliners. 63% of S&P 500 constituents trading higher yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, Gap GPS announcing its third quarter diluted EPS down 16% year over year to 51 cents, with lower net sales of 3.8 billion dollars compared to 3.9 the previous year. Tesla Motors and Solar City uh, Corporation announcing that their shareholders have approved Tesla's proposed $2.1 billion all stock offer to merge with Solar City. And Ford Motor not moving production at a Kentucky plant to Mexico, U.S. President elect Donald Trump saying on Twitter, citing the company's chairman. Turning overseas, Asian markets mixed today, the Nikkei up 0.59%, the Hang Seng up 0.37%, China's CSI 300 down 0.56%, and South Korea's Coast Speed down 0.3%. European markets losing ground and U.S. futures calling for a negative start. In terms of expectations out of the U.S. today, Foot Locker third quarter EPS seen at $1.11. While on the economic dock at 10 o'clock in the morning, we have October leading indicators. And also at 11 o'clock, November Kansas City Fed manufacturing activity. Now turning over to the markets, the S&P 500 sees a bullish bias above 2168. Now even though a continuation of the consolidation cannot be ruled out, the extent should be limited. Long positions above 2168 are favored with targets at 2190 and 20. 2200 in extension. Meanwhile, the Nasdaq sees a bullish bias, preferring long positions above 4775, and the Dow Jones also seeing a bullish bias, preferring long positions above 18,700.